y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video it is 5 45 a.m i got off work at 4 30 a.m and i got here at five o'clock i put tamia's eggs on as soon as i got here because eggs took an hour to boil and i have not went to sleep because today is the first day of school so this is going to be the first day of school vlog um i know i don't sound like too too excited number one because everybody's still asleep and i'm trying to get a head start on everything but if you watch my grocery haul then you'll know a little bit of what's going on like i was just actually dreading today you know you're supposed to be excited the first day but i was actually dreading today because it's just so much uncertainty and not having things in place gives me extreme anxiety so i'm praying that everything will go according like i want it to go but anyways y'all um I'm gonna go ahead and start on the girls' lunch boxes and then after that, get their uniforms out. And then it should be time for me to wake them up once I'm done with all that. So let's go ahead and get this morning started.
guys we are back at home now it is 9 22 a.m we got back here at nine o'clock y'all it has been an eventful morning an emotional morning my feelings have been all over the place so let me break it down to you guys what happened and why i said earlier i was dreading this day because i knew it was gonna be some mess so if you didn't watch my grocery haul what i said was that it was unprofessional that i didn't know what school my child was going to and who her teacher was i had been calling 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 nobody was answering the phone so i kept trying to call this morning so that way i wouldn't have to make a trip to two different schools so uh nala school opened up at 7 30 and they said the first day that parents can bring their kids and drop them off and um i also had to go because nala could have got on the bus but i wanted to go so i could drop off her school supplies but not only that i think i mentioned this before but um back in june nala had a asthma attack and um she was deemed to be asthmatic. She just had an appointment. What day was that? Thursday last week, she had an appointment and the doctor decided that she needed to take an everyday inhaler because her airways are tight. So the inhaler that she's gonna take every day is going to help uh, relieve the tightness on her on her lungs. But anyway, I had to go so I could drop off the asthma plant and her inhaler and the, uh, what is it called? The spacer that goes with the inhaler because, you know, kids don't know how to, you know, you know, shake it, squeeze it. You know, they just put it in their mouth, they'll choke on it. So I had to go drop that off. So you guys, when I got there, I asked the lady that was there and I told her everything that was going on. And I said, I hadn't been able to get in contact with anybody. And remind y'all, in my grocery haul, I told y'all, I filled out the application back in July. Here it is, the first day of school, and I didn't know where Tamia was going to be. So, the lady said, I'm going to reach out to them right now for you. You can go ahead and take your daughter to class, and before you leave, I'll let you know or whatever. So, before we even got to get into Nala's classroom or whatever... The lady came back to me and said the other school has her and they told me to just bring her there. So Tamia goes to a, another school that has a strictly preschool program. I believe they can start as early as three. So what that means is, so both the kids have to be at school at the same time. School starts at 745. Luckily, Nala can get on a bus, which her bus comes at like about between 7.15 and 7.20. So I can get Nala on the bus, hop in the car and drop Tamia off at preschool because Tamia gets out of school at 1.45. She's in preschool. Nala gets out of school at 2.45. So as you can see, you guys, I was... I was stressed out. I don't like not knowing things. And it just makes my anxiety like just go through the roof. Like when I tell y'all I was a ball of nerves, like I was a ball of nerves this morning because I do not like uncertainty. But anyways, both girls are in school. So to me, at school, they don't have to wear uniforms. So, y'all, I thought that she was going to Nala school. Now, the reason why I thought she was going to the same school with Nala is because I enrolled Nala in her school for pre-K. We get there, the lady says, oh, no, we don't have a preschool program anymore. Not since COVID. And that's when Nala started school. She started school during the pandemic, 2020. So, my thing is, why do you still have it on the website? And why are you still letting parents apply for pre-K if you don't have a pre-K program? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the part that it's just so unprofessional. Now, we drop Nala off. We go to Tamiya school. Y'all, school started at 7.45, y'all. We getting there at 
we pulling up at 8 30 because it took so long being at nala school because i had to get her to her class we met her teacher her teacher seems like she is an awesome lady and i'm so happy about that but not only that i had to drop off her asthma plan and her inhaler so we get to Tamiya's school, we get to the office and I'm like, they like, um, who you looking, who, what's your child name or whatever. And I said, Tamiya, and I said her last name. So she on a computer searching, searching y'all. I think we stood there for about 10 minutes because somebody else kept throwing her train of thought off. And I'm like, Kira, it makes sense. This is why nobody answered the phone and nobody got back to you because they having a hard time just trying to figure out what classroom these kids are in. So I said, you know what? <laughs> Y'all, I'm not, I am not a rude person and I'm not, you know, I'm not confrontational, but y'all, <sighs> y'all, I went to work last night this is day five well yesterday was day five it's day six i have to go to work tonight y'all i got off i've been up since 9 50 last night y'all it's 9 28 that's 12 hours y'all i have not been to sleep yet i have not been to sleep yet and i've been running all over the city trying to make sure that my kids were straight. And not only that, you guys, I'm gonna have to do a whole routine video for y'all because they don't have a bus that comes and picks me up because that school is not in our school zone. Granted, it's not that far from where we live, but it's not in our school zone. So you know what that means? I'm gonna have to work strictly night shift because at first i was pulling doubles i work half the night work half the morning no so i'm gonna have to get up get my kids ready for school come home try to film because i am doing content on youtube and on tiktok film content edit it try to go to sleep for at least an hour or two go pick tamia up Make sure I'm back at home to get Nala off the bus. Come in the house, make dinner, get dressed, and go back to work for a 10-hour shift. <laughs> Y'all, I am already tired. I'm about to be 10 times more tired. When I tell y'all, it is a complete disaster. Like, I have to say this is the worst first day of school that I have ever experienced. And the fact that you have administrators and and uh, teachers, well, I'm not gonna say teachers, the administrators and the people that's, you know, over top of the administrators, nobody can, get stuff straight or let parents know this and that we on the first day of school and we like i don't know i don't know like it's just it's so unprofessional y'all and i do not like uncertainty i'm a prompt person and not only that y'all i hate being late it irked my soul that i'm dropping my child off at 8 30 in the morning she's supposed to be here almost an hour ago i don't like that at all I do not like that. But anyways, y'all, that's what happened. I'm about to get some stuff done around the house. Yeah, I know I should go to sleep, but I got stuff to do, as most mothers do. Y'all, pray for me. Pray for me. For strength and for, uh, and for my mental. There we go. For strength and for my mental. Lord Jesus. Yeah, y'all. I know it's nighttime. I'm actually in my car at work tonight. Yes, I know. I know I said I was going to come back on here once the girls had got out of school, but 
y'all this new routine that i have to get into is going to be a huge huge adjustment it's a lot right now so that's why i didn't really like record for real because you know i have my youngest child with me too so it's kind of hard trying to you know get through the pickup line and get your child i gotta sign a route and then load both kids up in the car come home i still gotta try and get my workout in bathe the kids feed the kids and still tr gotta try to get some type of sleep so i can come to work at night so y'all just keep me in y'all prayers i just wanted to come on here and go ahead and end the video because y'all it's a it's a lot but you know as a mother i gotta do what i gotta do for my kids and for my family because i still gotta make money and my child has to go to school so hopefully they'll have a bus for her so that way i don't have to travel as much because you know we only have one car so the days that they have to work i have to take him to work then uh take Tamia to school pick her up and then once I get the kids and stuff straight I gotta come back out and pick him up from work and then I have to go back to work so y'all just pray for me you guys um I'm gonna go ahead and end it here I hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next one you're gonna break me sure it's your money you find and don't no one else to give you what you want